Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, what are we doing today? We're over on the uh, rental property. Um, my neighbors are the guy we rent the land from. And we are over here fighting prickly pear cactus. This is a problem in West Texas, but boy, I tell you what, it's also a problem in North Texas too. And once these guys get established, uh, one of the worst things you can do is actually uh, shred them. And you can see they come in, because when you shred them, wherever one of those leaves land, they actually uh, reseed. And the thing about it is, after doing a lot of research, chemicals really doesn't even kill them. There are certain chemicals, uh, Torbon, B2 or something, uh, there's two or three other brands. But the problem is, even when you spray them, these guys, it takes them a year, year and a half to, uh, to actually die. So we're taking a different approach here. What we're doing is we're taking the tractor with the rake. We've tried a couple of techniques. Uh, the first technique is just coming through there with the front end bucket, scooping them up and then dumping it. And then basically using a rake or a shovel or something to dig the uh, cacti out of the pile. But what we're also doing, and the technique that seems to work the best is the rake. You can see what he does is he comes up there and he comes in pretty deep and right there you can see this area right here that he just cleared out we'll come in here with a little rake and we'll pick these out because now they're actually loose and you can kind of get them out and pile them up and we're getting the pile and we're taking them off and putting them in a spot in the uh, place once we're done but we are fighting prickly pear cacti in north texas today very 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 invasive invasive weed so you can see watch right here he's going to get this group let's see what that looks like coming in. The soil conditions are just right too. We had a rain last night and uh, makes it kind of tough or makes it just right. The soil is soft. Watch this big clump right here. He's able to get those tines to go down in the uh, ground about two or three inches, which is just enough to actually get those roots. Thank goodness the roots are not very deep. They're relatively shallow with a lot of horizontal runners, but you can see actually doing a really good job. And then once we get them in piles, we come back and uh, you have to do a little manual work. Here's an example of one pile that we have, but uh, it's just part of the process. The biggest thing though is even with uh, leather gloves, you almost need two sets of leather gloves because the uh, even though the thorns seem to be really relatively small, they are everywhere. So, uh, caution, caution, caution. But, but all right, guys, we, we covered a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot here. A little bit of progress. All right, more to. Hey, everyone. Good morning from Heritage Farms, Texas. I'm Ashton, Scott's eldest daughter. Management and training, I guess. Feeding the cows. All the babies hanging out. Beautiful morning here in Telephone, Texas. Mama protecting me. Saying get away from my baby. Failing at the job here of being the helper. 
too slow. These are our pecan trees this morning. Fertilized them last night and they got a good rain on them. This is our logo on our barn. them in our lovely concrete troughs but the way we have everyone situated right now that is not where they're in their pasture feed into one of our bowls they look pretty happy don't they water in their trough in the storm last night. Hello everyone, Heritage Farms, Texas. So yesterday we came out here, finished pruning all these trees, and we also put out fertilizer. Now you can't see it on the ground, but we do like a little five foot circle around the tree, six foot circle, kind of where we did the roundup. And then we got rain on top of it. You can kind of see a little bit of it left in this little section, all white specks, but pretty good that we got a rain right on top of it. So hopefully that goes to work quick on these trees. As you can see, they're good. 20, 30 feet tall, doing very well for how old they are. So we fertilized all the trees for the pecan orchard. And hopefully they will have a wonderful year this year.
now I got him. So you can see everything. We've been clearing. Ooh, whole mess of trees over there. He's working in here to get some more. moving some trees. On this big pile here. That is staring down the water.
dug up.
Heritage Farms, Texas. So we've been clearing some land. Both tractors at work. There's a second bonfire here, and then it looks like we're probably gonna have to make another one there. We got a lot of trees. Not the way it used to be. Where dad is in the blue tractor, big blue. You wouldn't even be able to see him right now because there's so many trees growing up in this area. They've been working on clearing it and getting it all cleaned up and it looks a lot better. The cows should have a lot more grazing grass area for next year more than likely. One of the many things of farmland is managing your property. It's looking a lot better. Let's get some Dale working here. girl at the uh, at the golf course and uh, I bring around refreshments, beer, lunch, sandwiches, you know, nothing too fancy, don't get carried away now, but that way we can work these men to their full capacity and get a lot done. <laughs> Well-oiled machine here at Heritage Farms, Texas. Love and work in the beer cart. concession stand, if you will, in the Kubota, the beer cart equivalent of whatever is on a golf course that brings you beer. But today we're clearing trees. We got about half an inch of rain last night, which was good for our fertilizer on our pecan trees, but also makes the ground really soft so that we can easier clear out the trees here ground gets rather hard during the summer months with no rain so today was the perfect opportunity. Does anyone need a Christmas tree? It's early in the year. Perfect opportunity for us to go ahead and clear these out so that is what is happening here. Just trying to get some more land. Of course we'll keep some of these bigger beautiful trees. Those babies will definitely stay. What we're trying to get rid of is these smaller ones see back over here a bunch of cedars and such they're about 10-15 feet tall they're really small around the bottom and if 
you don't take care of them, they'll just keep taking over your land. So we're trying to clean them up and get some more of our land back. So that is what is happening today. It's a beautiful Saturday. A little breezy. But very nice. Hey guys, Scott, Sunday morning. I want you to look at this magnificent, beautiful sight. This is something you don't see a lot in North Texas, a bald eagle. Normally they stay up north, but man, this guy is right here in North Texas telephone. What a beautiful, majestic bird that is. Boy, you don't see many of these around, but hey, glory be to God. All right, guys, y'all have a blessed day.